Hello and welcome back to the channel. Here we try to decrypt crypto to the understanding of anybody. Today we are going to look at how to set up a MetaMask wallet and how to use it. So the first thing you're going to do is go to metamask.io as you can see from up here. And after that, you will have to go to download. Now, this is on Chrome. Usually, I use this on Brave Browser. Brave Browser is a fork of uh, Chrome. So, this is Brave Browser. I usually use it on Brave Browser. I can just uninstall this one. But yeah, it's the same thing. So, Brave Browser is a fork of Chrome or basically a copy of Chrome. All right, so you go to install MetaMask to Chrome, yes? And now you go to add to Chrome and we do that add extension so we're going to wait for it to add the extension and then we can just go right into it all right so here you can just go straight to create a new metamask wallet or import an existing wallet this is if you had a metamask wallet already you just click here and uh, go to i agree then you can put your seed phrase for the metamask wallet that you had before but in this case we do not have that so we just go to create a new uh wallet so create a new wallet you go to i agree here put a new password here we can just put say um youtube uh t u t six eight all right so youtube t u t six eight good i understand and then create a new wallet now we have to secure the wallet so here we will have to get a seed phrase for that wallet your seed phrase is the most important thing your seed phrase actually represents your funds in the wallet so this is something you don't want to play with even your mother should not know about your seed phrase jokes of course all right so seed phrase and then we go reveal seed phrase now this you have to manually copy to a piece of paper and then you keep this safe and when I say safe, I mean very safe because this is going to be your funds, basically. If anybody can get your seed phrase, that person has your funds because you just go to his own computer and then recover your wallet. And there is no middleman here that will seek to verify if it's actually him, yeah? This is a decentralized wallet. So there is no middleman involved in this, uh, in this situation. So here we go first, we have the divert and you have to copy in the exact order the exact order okay cool we are done now you do not copy this to your clipboard yeah do not copy this do not uh, you know just right click and copy don't do that don't do this because if there was a hacker that hacked into your computer that person can basically find his way to your fund so be extremely extremely i cannot insist on this enough extremely cautious with your seed phrase so you go to next now you have to fill in the blanks here with your seed phrase so here we have under and on number four we have thunder and then Number eight, we have sport. And that is it confirmed. Now, wallet creation successful. Got it. Let's go. Now, next, done. That's your wallet. As easy as that. That's your wallet. Congratulations. So if you follow the exact steps, you will have your wallet. Now here, you can see that uh, you have zero ETH. Um, yeah, you, you don't have any, any money in, in the wallet. So you, you have zero here. Uh, all of your assets, if you had any uh, tokens or coins, they will show up here. And here, actually, you can just go to uh, import tokens. So, for example, if um, you just wanted to have some other tokens here, even if you don't really have uh, any money with them, you can just import the tokens here. And you can either do that from here directly, like you go to USDT, USDT. Tether USDT and import the token. 
and then import tokens then here you will have zero uh usdt yes so that is you have zero eth us uh, zero usdt so you can import as many tokens as you can right here but you cannot import bitcoin because well this is not a bitcoin wallet however you can import wrapped bitcoin so that's bitcoin living on the ethereum blockchain all right okay so um now we can see that activity all of your transactions will be here on activities if you wanted to buy any cryptocurrency you can just click on buy here and then you can find some services that you can use to buy crypto and here we see coinbase pay transact uh, moon pay depending on your location some services may or may not be available for you so for me i can use coinbase pay transact and moon pay if you go through with that then you can buy your crypto now this is your wallet address yes if anybody wanted to send you crypto this is what you give to that person so anybody can send you crypto to this address this is the ethereum mainnet and you can always add other networks to this you can see all the networks that you can add to the wallet here we can add arbitrum uh yes and approve and therefore you will have arbitrum and that's it so when you add arbitrum it will appear like so so now we have arbitrum here and we have ethereum mainnet so if you wanted to add say uh, a network which you cannot find here you can just go to this chainlist.org where you can add any network that you were looking for and most of them are here so for example we could add kava kava evm and then we click on that click on next connect and then we have it approve switch to network okay so cool here you will see that we have kava as one of the networks that we have added using this website all right now what you have to understand is metamask can have many accounts so with this one uh, metamask wallet we can create many accounts by clicking right here and then we click on create account so this will be account two yes let's just save it as account two and we click on create it will have a different address right here but it has the same seed phrase so if you use that seed phrase anywhere else it will come back to this same wallet that has these two accounts all right and you can always switch between them right here so if you wanted to send eth to this metamask wallet you will just come right here click on the address and go to your exchange click on withdraw and that's just it all right so uh we are going to be doing some other tutorials which may involve the use of metamask okay so this was a quick tutorial on how to use metamask if you did enjoy it click the like button and subscribe to the channel with your notifications on so that you do not get to miss any other time that i post a new video until then stay safe